So here we are in the greenhouse. It's getting on for end of season now. And what I mistakenly planted is melons, which I actually planted pumpkins. And it's time to cut them down now. Oh, that's nice, the camera's zooming in on its own. So these pumpkins are going to be cut down here. Oops, there we go. So there's the first pumpkin. They come out good these pumpkins, even though they should be melons. And the, they decided they had too little room in the greenhouse, so they've grown outside the greenhouse and up the path, about 10 metres up the path, and all the hedge is full of pumpkins too. Somewhere in here there's some pumpkins hiding in the bushes, have a look. Pumpkins on fir trees. You see, I have to go in and get that one. Let's take this down. There's another pumpkin. We'll be having pumpkin soup soon. Let's start ripping this all down there now. massive cucumber there. That's one of the Japanese ones and I'm just leaving that to go totally ripe and um, use that for seeds then. But the cucumbers are still given. And you see growing everywhere. Every little corner and there's one hiding there. It's almost too big now. Everywhere you look there's cucumbers. And I've just got the Japanese peppers down there. I see the Japanese peppers are still going strong. I'll probably have some of them again tonight. But overall, uh, we've had quite a lot of produce from the greenhouse this year. I haven't bought any vegetables since, apart from potatoes, since June now. And uh, I've eaten a lot of Japanese peppers and a lot of avocado, not avocados, aubergines, eggplants. But they're all just about on the way out now. This little corner here, I'm going to clear these peppers out. There's not much on them too. And then we'll sow some spinach there again, same as we did in springtime. And that'll grow enough, this corner full of spinach. And that'll grow up until the first frost comes. Have a look, the peppers have done really good. Basil still going away there, but now it's slowly coming to the end of summer type vegetables and obviously pretty soon we're going to be having some pumpkin soup. I'll make a pumpkin and ginger soup probably. The old greenhouse is looking pretty good. The only sign of weathering is on one of the outside flaps there where it's been open the whole summer. It's gone a bit discoloured from having the rain continu continu continually on it. But otherwise it's holding up really well. Peaches have turned out quite good. 
still not quite ripe, but I've eaten a couple already and they're really soft and juicy. And I was thinking this tree wouldn't get anything on this year because they've got something called peach leaf curl it had in springtime. And that's when the leaves fold up a bit, but it seems to have recovered all right. Now I will give this tree a spray in autumn when all the leaves fall off. But it smells great, yeah. It's like um, in the little French grocery in the south of France. I have noticed in the supermarket that the peaches and nectarines you get all seem to be really watery at the moment. Or the ones in my supermarket are anyway. Especially the nectarines. It's as if they've been put in the lorry at unripe and then just left to ripen in the supermarket storeroom and that gives them a sort of watery taste. But these ones are really sweet and succulent. 